What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here with another edition of our weekly Dev Tracker series for Anthem. As per the usual, we are going to be going over the top tweets of the week from Mark Dara and a very special piece from my freelancer friend, Lazare. As per the usual, these tweets aren't listed in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. We have a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Our first tweet comes from Chance in regards to Mark's appearance at PAX West and or Gamescom. Mark replied that he will only be at PAX West on September 1st. Can't wait to see what you've got up your sleeves for us, Mark, and I'll finally have some new pictures to use for these videos' thumbnails. Christopher Adams tweets to Mark that he can see in the gameplay that there are some ruins around the map. His question is, what kind of ruins are there in Anthem? Mark replied that some of them are human, which we already knew, and something else. What could this something else be? Could it have something to do with the scars? I doubt the Shapers would have left too much else aside from their relics, but this is a topic for a lore discussion video. Adam tweets if all the weapons are going to be attached to our javelins, will they be held independently or both? Mark states that weapons are held and gear is built into the suits. Euro tweets if there is going to be some sort of enemy radar in the game, to which Mark answered that enemies will be shown on the compass. While I am personally a huge fan of mini-maps in games, I guess I could live with a compass. The Potato Man 123 writes if all strongholds are located underground, or are there some in enclosed outdoor areas that require a cave entrance or an underwater entrance. Mark answered that the reason they use the term stronghold is so they aren't tied to underground, i.e. the use of strongholds instead of delves or dungeons. Good call, dev team. Corey Pickering tweets if we can use weapons while flying at full speed, or do you have to hover to use guns? Also, are there any air-to-ground or air-to-air -air weapons or abilities? Mark states that guns require hover and gear can be used in flight, aka no guns while in flight. Big T writes if there is going to be a codex system of some sort in Anthem. Mark replied that there is going to be a codex, but it won't be voiced. And Bioware, if you need anyone to do voice work for Anthem, let me know anytime. Especially if you need someone for that codex. A fan tweets if we will have pilot skill loadouts for each javelin, so we won't need to respec pilot skills every time we change javelin, so that the skills will best suit that particular javelin. Mark answered that pilot skills are universal. This next tweet is a bit of a two-parter, so hang tight. GTR Boy tweets if AFK players will be kicked after a period of time. Hang tight for the answer on this part, it'll come in another tweet. A second part of this question asks if when we die, is there a respawn to an area close, far away, or do we have to be revived when we go down? Mark replied that if you die, you can be revived, but there is also checkpoints you can respawn at to save you from the trek from your strider. Jeremy piggybacked off that tweet and asks Mark if you die in a stronghold then respawn at a checkpoint and the boss dies, will you still get credit for that kill, or will you have to be there when the boss goes down. Mark answers that they disabled the respawn in boss arenas, so you will have to be revived there. Another fan follows up GTR Boy's previous tweet asking about AFK players. Mark replies that there will be AFK detection of some sort, which is kind of standard in most online games nowadays. Brayden tweets that he recalls that there is no underwater combat at launch, but wonders if there will be passive creatures underwater to help with the ambience. Mark's reply says it all as per the usual. Next up is Dynamite Deegan who tweets if there will be real creatures in Anthem's world or will everything be fantasy-esque. Mark replies that he saw a turtle today, so I guess you could say Mark likes turtles, just not as much as giant spiders. Speaking of which, Emerald Dukes tweets in regards to how big the spiders will get in Anthem. Mark replied that they will get pretty big. I'm going to go put on my Pyro Colossus and be right back. Harunger tweets if there will be any missions in Anthem including strongholds that will have a time limit. Mark replied that he doesn't think any of them do, only the future will tell though. Taylor Pugh writes if there will be in-game achievements such as speed kills, killing a certain number of enemies within a time frame, clearing all quests in an area, and so on. Mark replied that there would be. <sighs> I can already start seeing those Achievement Hunter guides popping up in my feed now. Oh wait, I'll be making those videos too. Damn. Our next tweet comes from the freelancer of freelancers himself, Mr. Lazare, with his next piece in the Know Your Enemy propaganda poster series. If you want to hear him discuss his art and this series in detail, as well as an exclusive that hasn't been released yet, be sure to check out our interview with Laz. A link to the video will be in the description below and a card will appear right about now. Johnny Jonesers tweets if we will be able to explore the world outside of the Javelin. I know we've covered a similar tweet about this, but this serves a double purpose. The first being that this topic has now entered the coveted place of tweets Mark Dara should never have to answer again, including the legendary how many editions will Anthem have tweets, the Anthem has loot boxes tweets, and one of my favorites, when will the game release tweets. Now for that second purpose, it sets up this next tweet 
perfectly. A fan tweets as to why we can't explore the outside world outside of our suits. Mark replied it was because even the Grabbits would eat you. So, uh, yeah, I guess everything on this planet officially will kill us. That's pretty neat. That about covers today's dev tracker and the first official video for our week of Anthem coverage leading up to Thursday with the Gamescom Anthem panel and beyond. It's going to be a busy yet big week for us. If you would like to show your support and help out this week, I would appreciate it if you all would leave a like, comment, and share this video on social media platforms such as Twitter. It helps me out more than you can possibly imagine and helps me reach more freelancers just like you. Also, a huge thanks to my patrons. I couldn't do it without the help of our Shaper, Freelancer, Ciphers, and Citizen. I hope you all have a fantastic first day of your new week, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Peace out, everyone.